Welcome back to Country Cow Designs. I'm Jo and usually I create sewing patterns for bag makers but in this video today I just wanted to chat about a new project I've been working on which is quilting. Um, so this is a completely new subject to me. Um, I really know nothing about it, never had a lesson to do with quilting. Something I've always wanted to do because my grandmother who gave me her sewing machine and got me into sewing, um, she has made amazing quilts in the past and I remember from when I was a kid these incredible quilts. So it's something I've always wanted to do. Um, so I recently started my first project. Now, if you saw our update video, you'll know um, I asked for some like, you know, tips from anybody that had made this pattern before on a Facebook quilting group. And I was kind of told, don't do it um, because it's an advanced quilt pattern. But if you know me, you know that I just love to just jump in full throttle into stuff. So. This is the result of my first project. So, pretty excited about this. Don't zoom in too closely, Adam, because um, you'll see all of the mistakes. So, there's plenty of mistakes going on here. This is the Zetus Lapitas quilt from the Quilty Architect. I will link his pattern in the video description. Um, originally, I was gonna make a full-size quilt, but after chatting to some people on a Facebook group, I thought, let's just start with the pillow size, you know? Then if it goes horribly wrong, you haven't lost everything. So this is how it turned out. I used a um, quilting template. It's, I think it's called like a fishing, fish template, something. Um, I'll link that as well. It was from this lovely quilting site that I've been following called Wemple Quilting, I think it's called. Um, she's got loads of different templates, so I thought I'd give this one a try. So overall, I'm pretty happy with that. You can see I've got threads stuck to it everywhere. But um, One thing I learnt from this project, which is pretty obvious, and I did know from the outset, um, don't use like a loose weave fabric when you're quilting because it really stretches. Yeah, so um, I did know that, but I did it anyway because that was the fabric I wanted to use. So that's my first project down. This is going to be my next project for quilting. Um, I reckon more of you will have made this quilt this is by um, Vanessa Christ Christensen, I think it is. She has some pretty awesome quilt designs and fabric designs. Um, so I found this kit and I just decided I really want to make one of hers. Um, and because they had a kit available, it was this one. So it's pretty cool because you get like the paper pattern. Um, you also get a little quilting ruler and then you just get all of your fabrics. So you can see I just started cutting them out. <laughs> this is going to take a while. I have, I have realised that quilting takes a lot of patience. I mean, look how tiny those squares are. I just done one colour and a little bit of the natural. Um, yeah, there's a lot to do. So it's not going to be, um, I don't know, a lot of people when they're making bags, they talk about how it's difficult to like make money out of it. I've realized that quilting is quite expensive and you know, you're know you not gonna make money because you're, you're normally making it for yourself or for a family member. So um, that's something I've learned quite early on. But there does seem to be a little bit of leftover fabric. And I think I can use that to make pretty cool bags. I was gonna do like some quilting on bags. So watch out for that in the future. Might even do um, a bag pattern that like has some instructions just for basic, basic quilting included because we've been wanting to do a home bag pattern. I'll let you try and figure out what that means. Um, it's an idea that Adam came up with a while ago and I think it would be perfect for quilting. So maybe sometime later in the year you might see that once once I've found my feet with this. So if you've got any questions um, let me know but I am going to tell you that I don't know a lot about quilting. So I'm just learning it as I go, figuring it out as I go. If you've got any tips let me know in the comments that'd be really helpful. Uh, one tip somebody said to me, can't find it now, is to get some starch spray. I do have some starch spray. I'm gonna be using that. I'm hoping that will help. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'm gonna try and do like little regular updates on how the quilting's going and hopefully show you, not too far away from now, my finished quilt. And if you've got any questions from the point of view of a bag maker turning to quilting, um, let me know in the comments, because I might be able to help. In the coming weeks, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to get involved in quilting, something new to me. So I might be able to give you a bit of feedback if you're wondering about making the transition yourself. Um, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop making bags. 
We've got loads of bag patterns planned for this year, which I'm really excited to show to you, including one not long from now in, in January. So um, yeah, stick with us. We're just gonna have a variety of stuff and you're gonna get to see a bit of quilting and a lot of bag making this year.